Good morning from the top of the unit down there in the bottoms where I'm at. Parker and his buddy are up here. Starting to open up some views. Y'all have a blessed day. Wish you good health and happiness. See you on the stump.
Well, now I gotta buck these two. Get a butt log off of them. 3810. Oh no, Dutchman. Oh. Parker right over there. And his buddy up a bit higher. Pushing up through here. the joys of hiking out at the end of the day will be a hurting unit tomorrow fell a big fur across his gully and it's walking across it limbing it it's gonna buck it wasn't paying attention i went and cut a limb off great big limb it fell right on top of my head knocked me off the log fell about eight ten feet off that log into some other logs Fun, fun. <laughs> it is thick. Yeah, I'm walking on top of brush. Or down. Let's see if I can't bust my phone coming through here. It's not all stand by the stump and fall timber. It's hiking through crap like this. Oh. Smart ones cut a trail that they can use for a few days. That's what I did, had to do in that other unit. six feet tall. I guess it feels like it going uphill. It's about four. It's a lot steeper on camera or off camera. Holy crap. I think I can kind of see the opening of the road. Anyway, I'll get back at you at the road. Oh, now it's a little easier going. Oh, other than steep. Heck, I probably won't even need my bow at this archery season. I'll just run an elk down and stick my arrow in its side with my hands. Yeah, it was a rough one today after. Of course, I've, my left wrist has been giving me fits anyway from the last time I fell. Of course, I fell on it again. It'll probably be. Oh, man. So, then, stiff tomorrow. Might have to wrap it up. Need to get me a wrist brace. Cause that's the hand I always pick, pack my saw with is my left hand. Well, I really feel it when I'm packing that husky. But she cuts good. Dang it. Almost to the road. See some bees. It's a bad spot to get caught up to. Spot you can't run. Holy cripes.
First, I'd probably make it look harder than it actually is. No, I'm just kidding. Boy. Yeah, she's a steep one. Ten more feet. But when we're backwards. Using my jug for a walking stick. Pull it. Go for a walk down this way. See if see if it'll be quicker for me to walk up this ridge over here. So I'm right in the bottom. A long walk to the truck now it's going good with three guys no me in the bottom Parker about a third of the way up and his buddy at two-thirds and we're pretty much just cutting side hill making it really wide which is good, we're covering ground, so when the yarder gets here, the riggers will have enough room in between us cutters. I am whooped. <laughs> Got a bit more sleep last night. Still driving two hours, man. It takes a toll on you, it gets boring. You know, even though it's a windy road, a lot of windy road, it gets boring. That and there's no service to run Pandora or anything like that, so it's just the same old tunes on my phone. Anyone knows of uh, anything good for listening to music on that doesn't take up a bunch of storage and don't have to have cell phone service, let me know. But anyway i'll give you guys holy smokes we got a lot done wow i'll flip you guys around and uh give you guys a look see but yeah let me know if there's anything cool you know obviously i can buy more music and stuff like that but of course when this phone takes a crap i'll lose all my music i did up my last phone it took a crap and uh I forgot all my passwords to my Apple account and stuff on my old phone and I lost all my music. I had probably a thousand songs on there. So you figure that minimum 99 cents a song. It's a lot of, a lot of money. But anyway, I'll flip you guys around here and uh, give you guys a look. Right down in there is where I am I'm coming up that other ridge. Parker's right down in here. He's moving that way and then his buddy's right here cutting this out so we can have a really wide, wide path. My buddy Doran, he's right over in there. He's tractor logging. He's the one that's cutting our field. Um, he does nothing but tractor logging. That guy puts out the most timber Puts most timber in the mills on the Colville Res. Shoot, probably here in northern Washington, northeast Washington, anyhow. That guy pumps out some timber, that's for sure. Oh, got a breeze now. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, we wish you good health and happiness. Um, stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll get some firewood done this weekend. Uh, yeah, I guess, well, I'll probably get this up maybe before the live feed tonight. But we missed last night's live feed. Totally spaced it. I got home and I was dog tired. Anyway, I'll give you guys a shot of the yarder and stuff when I walk through the landing. So those of you that are asking, this red, white, and blue machine is a yarder. Sends cable down over the hill. Got two guys down over the hill setting chokers. It brings the logs up the hill 
to the landing. You got one guy on the ground called the chaser. You got the yarder operator. That machine behind it is a processor. Cuts, limbs all the trees up. Processes them for the mill. Then we got the log loader over there. This is haywire here. Run that down because it's light duty. And then we stretch out the big cable. Anyway, have a good one. And here's the log loader. This is what loads the logs on the truck, sends them to the mill. Use it to deck up logs and sort through logs. Make your piles for the specific mills. Some mills take the big white fur. Some take the little white fur and larch. Others take pine. This is a unit we just finished up, 80, 80 acres, I guess. The one we're cutting on now is 102 acres. Yeah, that's quite a ways. Dumped a lot of timber in that unit. From my logs right there. <laughs> 